Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, before we start, if you like, subscribe, hit the funny little bell, uh, which is called the notification button. Uh, just so that you can get my ugly mug coming through to your telly box or your phone or your tablet, whatever you use to watch these lovely videos on, uh, which is great at the minute while the videos are still sporadic, so you'll get notifications of when the videos are coming out. It's it's purely down to work commitments at the minute, guys, so I do apologise that you know they are being a little bit sporadic, but we'll get there, we'll get back to it, I do promise. Uh, the video you're going to be watching today is a shower rewire that I've done a couple of weeks ago now. Um, I, I just didn't have the time to put the narration down on it. Um, I had to narrate over this one purely because of the setup with the customer and also because I had to get a bit of a, of a shift on with the actual job itself. So, yeah, without any further ado, we'll get into it. Right, so firstly, in the interest of complete transparency, you're actually watching me working now, but I'm sitting in the house, eating some cheesy chips that I've just made with Coyote Ugly on in the background. Wonders of modern technology. So what you're looking at now is me uh, stripping back the old existing 6mm, which, helpfully enough, went up a cavity into the first floor. It just prevented a little bit of trunk and going up on that ground level. Stripping back the the new um, 10mm LSF Twin and Earth. That's going to thread through that eye that I've just made on the existing CPC and come back around on itself to make a nice secure fish to get up that wall. And the idea behind this is once I've done that, then the, um, the more you sort of pull, try and pull them two cables apart, the more it wants to tighten. So very rarely that... You know, we lose a, a, a cable in the wall or the floorboards when we're pulling it up in this manner. And all we do then, um, we just wrap some insulation tape around it, as you can see me doing in a, in a few seconds once I've gone up the stairs and got it. Gives me a little bit of a time to just show you, if you look over at the door there where the keyhole is, uh, the, the client's very good draft excluder that they've got, which is a little bit of tissue. Uh, there we go. Insulation tape going going round, and I don't normally work like a man on crack. It's just that I've I've speeded up this little part of the video. So I'm going to be taking you upstairs next, and you'll see the existing trunk and that's being going up the wall with the six mil twin and earth in it. The existing six mil, and we're just going to we be taking that off and uh, put a new piece on. So the the piece that you can actually see that will all be renewed and the new cable go up it. So there it is. That's the piece that's going to be getting renewed into the loft. And you'll be able to see the cavity just now down the floorboards. This is going to get sealed, giving the six mil a bit of a tug. Whoa, hey, and you can see the um, yeah, there we are. There's our new cable coming up. That'll tuck in behind the skirting board and up our new piece of trunk and into the loft. As I wait, make my way over the landing, avoiding the veto. That's in a very health and safety conscious place. Sure, somebody will give me a telling off for that. There's the old shower pull switch that's renewing the shower, which I'll take you through in a second. And that's the room that you've just seen me and pulling the trunken up. And we're going to go along the landing there, into the bathroom, across to the pull switch, in and out of there, down the wall with a piece of MT4, and into the new shower. And the next bit that you're going to see is me just proving that I've turned the water off. So that now makes me a plumber, which my brother will be very annoyed with that comment, but... You know, he just moves water around for a living, so it's not that much of a trade, is it? And as you can see, there's the old shower coming off. No tools whatsoever needed to take that off. That is how I found it, believe it or not. Not secure to the wall. Everything's snapped, moulded. It's just in a, a bad state of repair, or the state of non-repair, shall we say. And the client was actually getting showered with the shower in that condition, believe it or not. Um, well overdue a new shower. Um, just taking you behind, you can see where it's cracked. The lug where that uh, secured and screw fits into it completely snapped. There's the old 6mm cable. I don't know whether you can just notice there. It's an 8.7 kilowatt shower, which that cable, when you take into the fact it's running through uh, loft insulation, group and factors, length of run, things like that, it's just completely inadequate for the, um, the current carrying capacity that it's intended for. Brand new shower on the wall, doesn't look much different apart from it's whiter, that's because it's, it's just the updated version of the shower which we've taken out for ease. 
can see the plumbing just goes straight back in. That pipe's getting a bit of a clean up later. Um, for now, we'll just see us wiping down the tiles just to make sure that the new pole goes in without looking you know, too messy behind it. So making the best of a bad situation, but cleaning it up the best we can. So um, you know, we're making it look as good as we can there. Uh, yeah, so that is tiles cleaned. That's going to go on the wall next. You can just see our uh, shower pull switch. So this has gone in and out. See everything's fed all up. Every time there's strands of cable, wherever the terminations allow for it, I do feddle them just to get a nice solid connection. You can see I've done the same on the shower here. So cables coming down, it's feddled, nice solid connections into um, them terminations there. Uh, it goes up the, the back of the shower into the piece of MT4. Uh, fire clips in there as well. Um, fire restraints just to make sure. I know it's only a small length of cable, but just like to do it as good practice and a um, bit of MT4 all sealed in. And you'll see us getting the, the ZE now with the system. So uh, this certain system is a TNCS. So I think it's about one, uh, 0.17 I get here, which is more than permissible for the type of earthen system that we've got. Um, so just ticking over here, there you go. It's like a Mr. Meg, 0.17. And uh, there's our RCD readings. So the RCD that we're actually um, our circuit is protected by this is the RCD readings, which you can see again, more than permissible. ZS reading, didn't actually get a uh, video of the R1, R2 reading, and this will be slightly higher than what you're expecting. Uh, however, there is impedance on the RCD, on the load side of the RCD, which is adding to the circuit, so R1, R2 is much lower than that. And the finished article, guys, so uh, as you can see, everything's on, working. Um, yeah, sorry it's a bit of a short video this week. It's all I have with the time, do apologise. Uh, but yeah, that's, for, um, that's all from me for now. See you on the next one.